Okay, here's a new model and uh, I was thinking about showing two different features. Uh, one is the stock model and how the stock works and uh, changing or setting the colors of a cutter which makes the simulation really nice. Uh, the color setting is a new feature in MadCam 4.3. Here's a small model that uh, is um, slight angled so we need to make a fine pass over this uh, let's go select the workpiece you see the green box? right define a cutter make a flat end here's the part of the new feature you have a new tab called other and well the, the tab other has been here before but this part is new if you set a new color here. Don't forget to save the cutter because the simulator uses the saved version of the cutter. But now I'll go with the default value for my cutter which is yellow. Press OK. We'll make a roughing toolpath. Just go default. Mm. Yeah, good. Just for showing examples. If we go for a simulation you will now see the cutout with the color that we defined in the cutter dialog. What we also see here is that the roughing part never made any difference for the the outer bounds of the of the work piece or the model and that is because if we remove some parts here that we don't need anymore. We can see that our work piece the that defines where the cutter should work is it has the same size as the model so we have to redefine it to be able to cut around the model so if you just click the stock model icon the simple way is to use the enclose model which is the default version of the stock piece the model plus the cutter radius will make the workpiece area as big as needed to get the cutter in to cut the sides. I'll show you. Boom. You see now it grew a little bit around it. What we don't have here, we miss a little bit of a height. So what we could do, let's say this uh, piece is molded in aluminum and you have a one millimeter extra to cut off to make sure that tolerances are okay you will hit the model quite hard if you have extra material in the top so let's go to back to the stock dialog and raise the top with one millimeter or whatever your units are boom now we have a workpiece that makes the cutter go a little bit more wide right if we check this in the simulator let's reset and go yellow all the way around so what happens if uh, our molded piece has the same same looking eh, or w what to say as the model but just a little bit bigger then we have to redefine it and we have to define it as a stock model so I'll remove this one again Oof. yes goodbye and we do that by using this function which is a function that exists in the more exclusive license versions of MadCam now we can just select another model that um, have the same sizes as the molded piece. I have it hidden. There it is. Uh, let's go for a roughing again. See what happens. Boom. Right. Now you can see that the tool path. Oops grew a lot. It came out far out from the model. 
let's see it in the simulation clear out run it yeah perfect so what happens if we change this to another cutter let's define a flat and uh, let's say a ball end which has another color and go for a set leveling perfect perfect direction perfect yeah go for it simulate mm. nice I'll go no, I'll change the color, I think. So let's change it to red. Don't forget, you have to save it. Yes, I want to replace. Okay. I'll use the same color. This is just an example. Planar finishing. Out everything. Poof. Simulate. Go. Yep, that's it. Now we can see that cutter went all the way down to the surface thank you for watching